Math 30-1, topic 6.3, Proving Identities. This is from page 309 of the textbook. To prove that an identity is true for all permissible values, you must express both sides of an identity in equivalent forms. One or both sides must be algebraically manipulated into a form that matches the other side. Now, you cannot perform operations across the equal sign when proving a potential identity. You must simplify the expression on each side of the equation independently. Example 1. Verify versus prove that an equation is an identity. We want to verify that 1 minus sine squared of x is equal to the sine of x times the cosine of x times cotangent of x for some value of x. Determine the non-permissive values and they want us to work in degrees. Well, the non-permissible values, first of all, the only function that has non-permissible values in its domain is cotangent of x because cotangent of x is undefined when the sine of x is equal to zero. And that's going to be, that means x cannot equal 180 degrees times n, where n is any integer. Now you can verify this graphically. We can post a graph for both, have a look at it, and it seems that, appears anyhow, that the graph of 1 minus sine squared x is equal to sine squared x times, pardon me, sine of x times cosine of x times cotangent of x. It is an identity. Verify numer numerically. Well, we're going to use x to be 30 degrees. If we did that, the left side, 1 minus the sine squared of x, would be 1 minus 1 half squared, which is 1 minus a quarter, which is 3 quarters. If you're going to use the other side, we got sine x, cosine x, cotangent of x. That should be cotangent of x. And it'll be 1 half times 30 degrees, times root 3 over 1, which is also equal to 3 quarters. Therefore, the left side is equal to the right side. This is verified for x is equal to 30 degrees, but not proven for all permissible values. Let's look at that in Part B. Part B. Prove that 1 minus sine squared x is equal to the sine x times cosine x times cotangent x for all permissible values of x. To do this, we examine both sides and simplify each side to a common expression. 1 minus sine squared of x, well, that's cosine squared of x. How do we know that? That's our identity from our Pythagorean identity where sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. On the other side, we have sine of x, cosine of x, times cotangent of x. Now we can substitute cotangent of x with cosine over sine of x. Now, if you'll notice, sine of x times cosine of x times cosine over sine, I can cancel the sine of x's and I'm left on the right side, cosine squared of x. So now I've proven that the left side is equal to the right side for all permissible values of x. And we also said what our uh, restriction was, and that was that x cannot equal 180 degrees times n, n for any integer. Let's look on example two. Prove an identity using double angle identities. Prove that tan x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x divided by the sine of 2x. Okay. Well, we're going to leave the left side as tangent of x. There we go. There's our left side, tangent of x. The right side it should be 1 minus cosine of 2x over the sine of 2x. Now 1 minus cosine of 2x can be changed to 1 minus 
1 minus 2 sine squared of x. And the sine of 2x is 2 times sine x cos x. Now we can simplify the top to be 2 sine squared of x. The bottom is 2 sine of x cosine of x. We can cancel a 2 and we can cancel a sine of x and we're left with sine of x over cosine of x and that's equal to the tangent of x. So it's proven again on both sides. Therefore, tan x is 1 minus 2x over sine of 2x is an identity from all permissible values of x. Example 3. More complicated identities. Prove that 1 minus cosine of x divided by the sine of x is equal to the sine of x over 1 plus the cosine of x. This time, on our left side, 1 minus cosine x over the sine of x. Well, let's leave that, go to the right side, the sine of x over 1 plus the cosine of x. Now, if I multiplied both the top and the bottom of the right side by the conjugate, 1 minus the cosine of x, I'll clean up the bottom. The top's going to be the sine of x times 1 minus the cosine of x. The bottom is simply going to be 1 minus cosine squared of x. Now, we know that 1 minus the cosine squared of x is equal to the sine of x, pardon me, sine squared of x. We can cancel the sine of x from the top and the bottom, leaving us with 1 minus cos x over sine of x. And you'll notice again that that's the same as our left side. Therefore, 1 minus cosine over sine of x equals sine x over 1 plus cosine of x is an identity for all permissible values of x. That little happy face means we're on our last example, example 4. Now we want to prove an identity that requires some factoring. Okay, here we go. Prove that identity, the cotangent of x minus the cosecant of x is equal to the cosine of 2x minus the cosine of x divided by the sine of 2x plus the sine of x for all permissible values of x. On our left side, we have the cotangent of x, which is cosine of x over the sine of x minus the cosecant of x, which is 1 over sine of x. So that'll clean up nicely to be the cosine of x minus 1 over sine of x. Let's leave that, go to the right side. On the right side, we have 2 cos x squared of x minus 1 minus the cosine of x. We've replaced the cos of 2x with its identity, 2 cos squared of x minus 1. On the bottom, the sine of 2x is 2 sine x cos x plus the other sine of x. Now we're running out of room. Cleaning this up, you've got 2 cos squared of x minus the cosine of x minus 1. That's the factorable part. That is a trinomial that we can factor into two binomials. And the bottom is going to be the sine of x times 2 cos x plus 1 because I'm going to factor the sine of x out of both of those terms in the bottom. Now when I factor the top, I'm going to get 2 cos x plus 1 times, two, times the cosine of x minus 1 over the sine of x times 2 cos x plus 1. As you can see, we have a like term. We can cancel and we're left with cosine of x minus 1 over the sine of x, which is exactly the same as the other side. So we've proven our identity that the cotangent of x minus the cosecant of x is equal to the cosine of 2x minus the cosine of x over the sine of 2x plus the sine of x for all permissible values of x.